Amazon Web Services, Google, Microsoft and Oracle have been awarded positions on the Pentagon's joint warfighting cloud capability contract, with a ceiling value of $9 billion over five and a half years. IBM has agreed to buy government technology services provider Octo from Arlington Capital Partners to complement Big Blues in IT modernization and digital transformation offerings for the federal sector. In a recent Executive Spotlight interview, Parsons Senior Vice President James Lackey spoke with GovCon Wire about his career-long mission of making a positive impact on the warfighter, the various types of innovation strategies the company is employing and more. Thomas Kennedy, former executive chairman of Raytheon Technologies and a three-time WASH 100 winner, has been appointed to serve on Textron's board of directors starting January 1. The State Department has approved the potential foreign military sale of aircraft spare parts to the government of Taiwan under a pair of proposed agreements worth a combined $428 million. Palantir has received a five-year, $443 million contract to provide software and digital technology platforms to CDC, for public health infrastructure modernization efforts. Scott Cody, a senior vice president of Westat's Insight subsidiary, will transition to a new role as sector lead for human services at the employee-owned professional services company, effective January 1st. BWX Technologies has commenced the production of a new nuclear fuel product that will power the Department of Defense's deployable microreactor and support NASA's space exploration initiatives. Join GovConWire's events 2023 DoD Digital Modernization Forum on January 12, 2023. Visit govconwire.com events. Kathleen Robinson, a general manager at Intel, recently participated in an executive spotlight interview to discuss the chipmaker's defense industrial base partnerships and its several initiatives to help advance semiconductor technology for DoD unique applications. Read the full Q&A at executivebiz.com. The U.S. Army is seeking information on interested vendors with the capability to deliver audit infrastructure and support to the Army Financial Improvement Program.